sporting fans welcome again to the coach's desk with coach menzi and today we are about to drop another bang of people we're going to be talking about jamaican international footballer ravel morrison one of the hottest invitees we would have ever had in the national team trust me this youth is is dangerously talented he is he, he basically has the quality of being a world-class footballer trust me people even from the manchester united academy over there in england one of the most talked about academy in england so you know definitely what i'm talking about this youngster ravel morrison let me tell you something before i get into the meat of the matter tell you about his career and so forth he played at lazio right and the director said in 2015 that morrison has undoubtedly quality and is a world class separate and apart from being a little mad he is world class that's what the last year the uh, director of football said so you know what i'm talking about viewers and subscribers football fans reggae boy supporter ravel morrison is one of the best additions since renee Simo's other coaches have been going overseas to get players you saw his quality down there in Saudi Arabia. He didn't start the first game. However, he came on in the second half and you could see the instant impact. He, 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 he helped change that game, people. So much so that he started the next game and you could see this youngster working, working, working throughout the game. He has some touches, his movements, his passing he was just excellent in fact he was named player of the tournament player of the match so this is one that jamaica national program should keep they can't let go of this baller yeah man one of the toughest thing one of the toughest thing you know what another person another influential footballer said about him that's Rio Ferdinand. He named him as one of the most talented young players that he has ever seen in his lifetime as a footballer. Now, Sam Allardyce, and you know, Sam Allardyce is a big coach. You know what I mean? And Sam Allardyce managed him at West Ham because he played for West Ham. I soon give you some of the clubs that he played for. He played for West Ham. And in 2017, Sam, Big Sam said that Morris is considered to be the biggest waste of talent he had worked with. The reason being, this youth could have excelled further than he is right now. But you know, sometimes when they are talented, they have their challenges. And if they don't have a good team around them, if they don't have good influence around them, they're gonna falter by the way but Ravel Morrison I've been hearing about this youngster for years years and getting him into the Jamaica national program I think it, it is a plus and that's why I believe with his addition and a few more that we have had this national team will qualify for the 2022 Qatar World Cup I believe that so yeah, people, of course you know that Ravel is currently playing for the Dutch side, Ado Den Haag. Yeah, that's the club he plays for in Netherlands at the moment, right? Now, for his youth career, like I said earlier, he was a part of the Manchester United Youth Camp Academy for years, up until 2010. Um, he made a transition to the senior team 
2010 to 2012. He did not play a game, but he was a part of the senior squad over there in Manchester United. He, he made a transfer to West Ham United. That's why Big Sam could have said that about him. But he, he coached him from 2012 to 2015, three years. And he saw the talent. He knew the talent. He knew that this baller is a very good baller. He's a world-class player, people. Don't get it twisted. He's a world-class. He, he might have his attitude issues. He might have other issues. But the talent that he has, Excellent. He went on a loan to, to Birmingham City, then on a loan to Queen's Park Rangers, top clubs he has been playing for. He went on loan to Cardiff. When things ran out on his contract, he went to Lazio from 2015 to 2019. And that's why the director of football could have said all that he said about him. Because he's a world class type of player. He has those qualities. I can't overemphasize it. Um, in 2017, he went uh, uh, back to Queen's Park Rangers on loan, then at Atlas for loan. When his, 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 his contract expired again, he went to the Swedish club, Ostersund. Yeah, that's the club he went. And of course, he came back to England. He represented the Sheffield United there in England. He also went to Middlesbrough on loan. And like I said, currently he's playing for Ado Den Haag in the Netherlands. So you see the, the, the amount of club that this youngster would have gone through. Many probably would say it's as a result that he's not good, but I mean, but possibly they were also trying to get him playing times, game times game time rather so they wanted to ensure that he is playing football but the quality that he has I, I don't know I think the talent like like Big Sam said is a wasted talent but I'm happy that the, there seems to be a transformation in his career there is a level of impetus change that is taking place and we could see that in his game is, is professional game for the Reggae Boys team. Those two games were excellent. You can see the fight, you can see the hunger, you can see the quality that he has and the level of experience that he would have had as well, playing for so many teams. So this youngster, he's 27 year old. I don't know why I'm saying youngster, but yeah, he's a youngster still, 27 year old. So I believe he's a good addition, like I said earlier, to the reggae boys team and he'll be a force to be reckoned with he will be an important piece of the puzzle that will assist us in making <clears throat> this world cup now Ravel Morris was so good people that he played for the England under 16 he played for the England under 17 he played for England under 18 he played for England under 21 so people, he was on the verge of playing for England national team. But stuff happened, his career declined. And then, you know, the next bet is Jamaica. And he took up the offer to play for Jamaica. They have been scouting him a long time. There are some football pundits who have been mentioning him that he has some Jamaican connections and they should get him. They finally get him for those two games and it, it it solidified the call for him to be a part of the program. So definitely, Ravel Morrison is one to watch. He's going to be a, 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 a good addition, like I said, to this national program going forward. He has a few years barring injuries um, and so forth. We do believe that his presence in the midfield his tackling, his pass, his precision passing. He knows how to move into the channel. He knows how to play his position and so forth. So he's going to be an excellent part of this national team going forward. And definitely, all being well, we'll see him in the World Cup squad, assisting Jamaica throughout the group stages. 
and if we reach to the second one that would be a plus so viewers and subscribers look out for ravel morrison yes reggae boy new addition to the reggae boys unit and we do believe he's going to do well because he's a excellent footballer he's a world-class footballer man and, and if he's not anymore he has the quality of a world-class baller big up yourself viewers and subscribers thank you again for tuning to the coach's desk that's it for today <laughs>